Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here. You could have been anywhere else on YouTube, but you decided to stop by here and check me out. And for that, thank you. Anyway, we're going to talk about this couple named, this YouTube couple named Tay and Lou. They were a couple anyway. Um, they had a channel called Tay and Lou. Uh, since then, it, it's been changed to TTG. Um, they have over 1.4 million subscribers. Um, they did like a mukbang type ASMR type of, uh, thing on their channel. Anyway, about two months ago, they came to us and they were discussing the reason why they broke up. That they had broken up and the reason why. Then, well, I'm gonna say this. They made it seem like to me, in the video, what I got out of it, out of the two videos, is that, that they broke up because Lou was depressed in her room, drinking, and Tay was on the internet with these women, forming relationships with these women that were friendships. So, they broke up. I guess they outgrew each other and they broke up. That happens all the time. So, then Tay comes back about a week late, a week ago, and says, this is the real reason why we broke up, and that wasn't the reason why they broke up, and she wanted to clear her name. So, now we're going to watch the first clip of the first video they made of the reason why they broke up. Let's watch. You have something on your back. Can you take it off? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, do you want to say the intro? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you might as well just say the intro. It's been five months <laughs> since it's we been said five it. months. Yeah, about five months, maybe six months. Let's do it. Okay. Uh. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's Tay and Lou. It's Tay and Lou. What up, dang, dang, gang, gang, dang, dang, gang, gang, dang, 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 gang, gang. We ain't eating nothing today, baby. <laughs> we only sipping some tea, our tea, unfortunately. And I don't think ain't no baby girls in here no more. <laughs> <laughs> damn. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Well, yep. Can't call baby girl anymore. Listen, guys. We're here. We're here to tell our own story, correct? Finally, yes. Yes. Here. I'm tired of seeing all these little channels tell our story for us. We're going to tell our own story as to why we broke up. The majority of you guys know that we broke up. Some of you guys are going to be shocked and appalled. Sorry. Sorry in advance. Sorry to hurt yeah, your feelings. It's not a sham. It's not a sham. <laughs> it's been over... Uh, it's, it's, it's been it's over uh, like probably like a half a year now. Yeah, has it? Yeah, I don't know. It it's been like a while. Much longer than that, but half a year. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> he said, first of all, just to get this, to, to make this clear, I don't know, I'm starting a little bit. This is the first time that I'm seeing Lou for in a while, okay? It's been like a month. Yes, it's been a while. You had some roller coasters, which we will talk about. Yes, we will. And you look nice, by the way. <laughs> thank she you. Looks so very you. nice. Thank, thank you. You look so much. beautiful. Oh, listen, you. listen, guys. I feel like I like I'm trying to get their attention. My heart is racing. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> listen, because I already know, like you know, you know, you don't. I don't like to deal with disappointing people. I, I don't like to, to deal with disappointing people. But at the end of the day, we can't disappoint ourselves either, right? I have to say that if you didn't. Okay, so. The way this is going to go is we're going to be fully transparent, which is probably the scary part for at least me. I don't want to speak for Lou. Um, we're going to be fully transparent on the reason why we broke up. We're not going to sugarcoat it. And that's the most devastating part of this video to me. It, it might have to be. So we basically talked about the general reasons that we broke up, like the overall reason. But then there was that uh, straw that broke the camel's back, right? <laughs> and that was... Point of no return. Right. That's why we couldn't come back from what it is um what what was that for you what what happened you let us know everything that happened for you and then i will say everything that happened for me because we obviously have different opinions of what happened to this day <laughs> okay so to me the straw that broke the camel's back is pretty much as you guys know we live together and as you all were already informed there came a point towards the end where she and I, we virtually, we, we did not talk. We didn't 
we saw each other in passing within this house, this house that we're recording in right now, my home. And what I started to notice was, even though we weren't sleeping together, we, we for the longest of times, we weren't sleeping together. She was out here. I was in the bedroom, but she was out here having a full life, <laughs> a complete life, um, up until four or five o'clock in the morning type of life. <laughs> Um, I would get up for my three o'clock pee, my 3 a.m. pee, and she was either sleep on the phone or sleep on the phone with a group of women. And um, now this group <laughs> you make of it women- sound like I have a harem. No, no, she doesn't have a harem. She has really good friends. Um, this group of women, amazing women. Um, I knew this at the time. I still know this at the time. Um, however, I was not in a mental space to share that part of Tay. Um, why? Because I had no parts of Tay at that point. So even though I was a part of this group of women initially, I started to see like, damn, hold on. Me and Tay, we're not in a good space. And she's she's really, really, really all of her extra time that the little bit of time that we did interact, it was now gone, you guys. Why? Because she was waking up on the phone with these women. She was going to sleep on the phone with these women. She was texting these women all day. There was no space for any type of, hey, how you doing? You want to eat? There was no space for it. And I saw myself mentally just declining. You guys, I was not eating. I was drinking even more than what the hell I already began to do. And I looked up in my house, in this house, <laughs> and I know I knew I couldn't do it anymore. I knew that that the environment was going to become too mentally toxic for me. Um, I was going to literally go deeper and deeper and deeper into my depression if I keep waking up at three o'clock and hear her on the phone, keep waking up and seeing all of this stuff. I felt replaced. I felt completely replaced. Before we had a fighting chance, I felt like um, <clears throat> as traumatic as our relationship was, and I'm so sorry to say it to you guys, but our relationship was quite traumatic. As traumatic as it was, I felt like the trauma all was a kind of like a battle. And I felt like finally the dust was starting to settle. We got through COVID. We got through all of the craziness that we got through in our relationship. And I, I personally felt like the dust was settling. However, a group of women came into the picture. Now you guys, these, this, these were, pl no, I can't. I'm sorry, did she say, try to say platonic and just changed it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, now we're gonna watch Tay's version of what TTG, happened. TTG, it's Tay from around the way. Here's what I'm eating today. I got king crab lobster and the scampi sauce that I made. This video is going to be a difficult video for me, but I'm going to get through it. Um, and after this video, then I can come back for good. There's been a big barrier holding me back from being on YouTube. And I'm going to explain all of that in a little bit. Let me take a bite first. Pray for me, y'all, in this video. Pray for me because I got to make it through. I got to make it through the video. Hold up. All right. Let's go for some king crab. I figured... I might as well have my favorites today, or whatever the case may be, <laughs> if I gotta talk about this, but I am going to talk about it. It's been long overdue, so we'll talk. If you guys wanna know the recipe to this scampi sauce, let me know. All right. Mmm, spicy. <clears throat> Spicy. Mm-hmm. Okay, the subject that I have to talk about today is not the best. But it's been what's been holding me back from making videos on here. And I've wanted to make videos on here for so long now. The last time you saw me, I made a video with... My previous partner, which you guys obviously know, about the reason we broke up. And what you guys don't know is after that video, I really experienced some things. I experienced some things, y'all. In that video, I honestly felt like I was made to look like a dickhead. A dickhead. <laughs> I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. Let me eat a lobster tail and let me explain 
basically the best truth I can give. So you guys can see why I'm so hurt and or why I was so hurt because since then, the time that I took apart from YouTube and sought help and all of that stuff, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Mm. Mm hmm. My scampi sauce is giving. Mm. Okay. And the napkins. Hold on. All right. So to hear the story be told, based on our video, it appears that the reason that Lou and I broke up was because she was very depressed and she didn't do anything or whatever the case may be. And as a result, I became withdrawn from her and like basically I left her in her depression in the room and I kind of just ventured towards another group of women until we fell apart. Get this amazing 4G slash 5G smart tablet with free unlimited talk, text, and data. When I tell you guys, some of the laughter that you guys saw in the other video really stemmed from the fact that I knew that that wasn't the situation and it really hurt my feelings so bad that that's kind of how I was portrayed. Especially considering that I spent most of my working years like before I became an entrepreneur, most of my office working years as a social worker who literally the job was to help people get through their depression or whatever other mental illnesses they were dealing with. It just really fucked me up. Like it fucked me up bad. I'm not gonna get emotional. The truth of the matter is, the truth of the matter is when Lou was depressed and drinking, because that was the real issue for me when she was drinking. I did not experience a person that just laid in the bed. Okay? That's not what I experienced. If you guys have ever had somebody that you love drink a lot, they can respond in a lot of different ways. Some people just like to be off to themselves. And when I tell you, I would have much rather preferred that I could have dealt with that. Some people become hypersexualized. Some people like to party until they pass out. And some people like to fight. Some people like to fight. I'm about to lose my appetite. Let me eat one more thing before I lose my appetite because I'm just like, <sighs> mind y'all, like I, I sought for real help regarding this situation because I didn't know how to process what was happening to me in regards to the story that was told and what I actually experienced. It's a nice piece of crab. Thanks. Thanks, crab. Mmm. This is a banging sauce. Mm -hmm. I have some Riesling for this. <laughs> The real situation is this straight up because I'm not going to be made to feel like I didn't experience what I experienced and I didn't have a reason to leave. And I felt so much guilt leaving. But the truth of the matter is towards the end of our relationship, now we had a very tumultuous relationship, you already know that, but towards the end of our relationship, the drinking got really bad on her end, right? And no, she was not just depressed laying in the bed. If she was just depressed laying in the bed, I would have been with her to the, to the kingdom come. I would have worked through any single depression. I would have t taken her to whatever therapy she needed to attend to. I would have stayed. That's not the problem. The problem with people sometimes when they drink is that they get very handsy. And it's not safe, okay? I was not in a safe situation. And I hate the fact that I allowed myself 
to tell a story like that, knowing that's not what happened. And to really fucking feel like it's happening again, bro. I would never leave somebody because they're depressed. But if I'm not safe anymore and I'm asking you to stop drinking because you're turning into another person and I'm finding and we're making agreements to have a sober house, but I'm finding like liquor in random places, knowing that you're still drinking and knowing that I'm going to have to watch over my neck and, and now I'm going out of the house and going to gamble because I don't want to be home because I'm scared like that's that can't happen right I can't I can't go out like that I'm sorry y'all and this is the main reason why Lou and I can't proceed because I talked to her about this situation and I kind of was made to feel like well, you did the video and that's the story that we're going to tell kind of like, and I don't like that. Like, I don't like feeling like I didn't experience what I experienced. If, if I'm willing to put out, you know, the gambling addiction that, that incurred as a result of everything we were going through, then I feel like, I mean, can we, you know, be fair, be fair to me. Cause you know, I worked through everything with you. Right. So after that happened, I knew we were never going to make YouTube videos again because I talked to her about it. And I was like, listen, it can't be told like this. Like, this this can't be the case. Like, we both know that's not what happened. We, I didn't just leave you and, and run to a group of girls. These group of girls helped me escape the situation. They were my, my fantasy. And I'm not even talking sexually, y'all. We literally were having... It wasn't sexually, okay? They're my friends, just my friends. But to have something to know that I could be loved, then this doesn't, this is not the extension of your love. Like, this is not, that's not what's supposed to happen to you. Um, I, I'm not gonna get too much into my family history, but let's just say I never wanted to be a part of a situation like that. And I know our, 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 our situation was very tumultuous, but. I wanted everything in me for it to stop. Like I wanted all of it to be finished. Like I wanted, I wanted us to get better. So I tried everything. I was like, I'll stop drinking with you. Let's just make sure, let, let's not have any liquor in the house whatsoever. Let's do stuff because I knew it was the liquor. But at the end of the day, it's your choice to drink liquor. And then when you black out and I'm scared for my freaking life because I don't know what's going to happen. Like either you're going to go to jail, I'm going to go to jail. Or one of us gonna end up dead because at the end of the day, I'm stronger than Lou, but Lou's hella fucking tall, right? She's tall, so what am I gonna do? Is it, and, and I'm not dealing with a person that's in her right mind. When a person drinks, they're not in their right mind. Regular Lou would never do this, and I need y'all to understand that. And that's what I held on to. I held on to the person that I knew would never want to hurt me. But when a person keeps making a choice to drink, and you know, that's just not cool. So again... I fought hard at the end of the relationship and I know there was a point in time when I decided that enough was enough and I couldn't do it anymore. And that's when she changed. I'm not going to lie. That's when she changed, but it's not because she was depressed y'all. <laughs> and I need to make that clear. It's because she was hitting me. <laughs> like, Epidemic Sound provides you with restriction free music and sound effects that you can use across all of your content. I don't know. I totally lost my appetite. I. Well, 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 guys. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Let's discuss it there. Until next time, until the next video. Bye.